The Saab 35 might not be as well known as say the F-22 or B-2 but was built with a clear purpose in mind, and a very different design. Following the Second World War, Sweden maintained a policy of neutrality, yet at the same time expected that if war came it would most likely be against the Soviet Union. The Swedish Air Force has foreseen the need for a jet fighter that could intercept bombers at high altitudes yet also be able to engage fighters. The development of such an interceptor began soon after the Second World War, and it was a radical leap forward in aviation technology. Engineers at Saab had a radical idea for a new all-weather supersonic jet fighter, which was to become the Saab 35 Draken. Aircraft engineer Eric Bratt, along with a team of more than 500 technicians, had arrived at the idea of a unique double-delta wing shape after studying different ways of packaging the fuel and equipment. It was a radical design, and the Draken, which translates to Dragon but was meant as Kite for the shape of the wings, was the first aircraft to successfully employ the double-delta wing design. Recognizable as the large, triangle-shaped wings that are widest at the rear and taper inwards closer to the nose of the plane, these offer numerous benefits. The first is that delta wings have more internal volume for fuel than conventional wings, and can also be structurally stronger. The trade-off is higher amounts of drag compared to typical swept-wing aircraft. For Bratt and his team, the double delta design appeared promising, and after three years of intensive design study, the Saab 210, a subscale test aircraft that was unofficially nicknamed Lil Draken or Little Kite, was first flown in 1952 